Shabbos Daf Ayin. I think it's incredible. We're already holding 69 Daf into Masech to Shabbos. Unbelievable. We learned three rules in our Mishnah. Rule number two was that if a person knows about the concept of Shabbos, he just lost track of time and he forgot that today is Shabbos, even though he did many malachas that were usher, he only brings one carbon chatos. Every Shabbos he brings another carbon chatos. But if a person knows that today is Shabbos, he just forgot that the malacha of koitzer is usher, that the malacha of zereya is usher, he forgot that it's usher. So he brings on each and every malacha a carbon. The question is why? It says Ravnachim very simple. If a person forgot that today is Shabbos and he did a few malachas, then he only had one forgetfulness. His mistake was one, that he forgot that today is Shabbos. He brings one carbon. But if a person forgets different malachas, he forgot different things. So he has to bring a carbon on each forgetfulness. But how do we know that you chayev on each and every malacha? Perhaps all the malachas of Shabbos are included in one Avera, Chil Shabbos. How do we know to differentiate between malacha and malacha? It says Shmuel because the Torah says, Kala Oisa melacha yumas. If you do a malacha b'mezid, you die, you get the death penalty. So then why does the Torah repeat itself and say, Mois yumas? The answer is because the Torah is not talking about mezid. If you can't be talking about mezid, you must be talking about shaygik. And the Torah says you shall die. What does it mean die? Not literally, but you take out of your pocket. For some people that's like death. To spend money on a carbon? Oy. The Torah says, Mois yumas. You bring many karbanas on one Shabbos. There's a very famous machlegis in Shas. The Torah says, You shall not light a fire on Shabbos. But why did the Torah pick that melacha from all the melachas? Says, Rabbi Yossi, All the 39 melachas, the other 38 melachas, if one does it, you get skila. If you do it without Edim and Asra, you get karas. And if you do it, you get a chatas. Lighting a fire is different. All you get is a lav. There's no karas, no skila, no karba. Comes Rabbi Nassim and says, No. The reason why the Torah points out Eish is to tell us Lechalik, that every single Malacha, you bring it to your own carbon if you're over on it, just like Shmuel says. It says, Eila Hadvarim. Eila, Aleph, Lamed, Hey, is 36. Hadvarim is 3. Why? Because Dvarim is plural, 2. Hadvarim with Hey, Yedia is the third one. 3 plus 36, 39 Malachas. If you do them, you're Chayiv, a carbon for each and every one. According to Rabbi Yaisi, he learns this concept of dividing the malachas, and for each one you have to bring a carbon from the pasuk of Asa Me Achas Mehena. He learns four drushes from those three words. Me Achas, which is an extra mem, Mehena is an extra mem. And he learns. Me Achas means that if a person intended to write on Shabbos the word Shimon, the name Shimon, and he ended up writing just the first two letters, Shem. He's also over because that, that's all you need is two icy ice, and if he did shame, Meshimon is chayev. The mem of Mehena teaches us Taldais, not only of ice you chayev, but even for the Taldais. And then he goes on to learn, Achas Mehena means Achas Shihi Hena. In other words, if a person knew that it's Shabbos, but he forgot about the Melachas, he's chayev for each and every Melacha. This is what Shmuel was saying. Or Hena, Shi Achas teaches us that if a person forgot that it's Shabbos, but he knew about the Malachas, so he's chayyeh for Shabbos. Now the reason why Shmuel didn't learn from Rabbi Yaisi's limud of four limudim from the Asa Me'achas Mehena is because he doesn't want to learn four. He, want, he could learn two things. He learns the concept of Taldais, and he learns Shem Meshima, but he doesn't learn Achas Shihena Vehena Shiachas. Says Rava, what happens if a person did two things? He forgot two things. First of all, he forgot that it's Shabbos. And he forgot that a few of the malachas that he's doing are also. What comes first? If you say that a person that forgot Shabbos only has to bring one carbon, so even though that he forgot a bunch of malachas, he only has to one carbon? Perhaps no. Yes, you should bring a carbon for each one of the malachas that he forgot. Rav Nachman wanted to say, since he forgot Shabbos, that's it. It's all over. All he has to do is bring one carbon. The fact that he forgot different malachas, he doesn't have to bring another carbon. Rav Ashi says, depends why he's retreating. If you tell him, hey, it's Shabbos, and he stops doing what he does, then he only brings one carbon. If you say, hey, you're doing a malacha, and he stops, then he has to bring a carbon for each and every one. Says Ravina, that, that, that doesn't make sense. The, the reason why a person stops doing malacha is because he realizes that Shabbos. And Shabbos means that you can't do malachas. Th- they're one and the same. So therefore, he says there's no difference, and you only bring one carbon. As we had yesterday, the Mishnah 
In this parak, later on says there are 39 melachas, and the Gemara asks the question, why does it say a number? We know how to count. Says Rabbi Yechanan, to tell us that if you do 39 melachas, it's possible up until 39 melachas, you're chayiv up to 39 karbonas in one helam, in one awareness, one shot. Now, if we hold like Rabbi Yechanan, that knowing that what you're doing is wrong, just you forgot that there's an Isra Karis, and that's considered a shagig. that's an awareness. You're aware that there's a Shabbos. You know that it's Shabbos today because you know there's an Isra. But according to Rish Lakish, that in order to be over a shagig, in order to be over 39 Melachas, you can't know that it's Asr Bechlal. You don't know that there's a Lav and you don't know that there's a Karis. So then, he's not aware that it's Shabbos. And we said if he's not aware that it's Shabbos, you only bring one Karbon. So how is it possible that he's, he's high of 39 Karbonas? The answer is because Rish Lakish is going to hold, like we said yesterday, like Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva holds that Midari Rai, so there's an Isr Tchumim. You can't go out of 2,000 Amas from your domain. So that's number 40. You're just not high of a carbon on it. So he's aware of Shabbos in the fact that you can't walk more than 2,000 Amas. But he forgot about the 39 Malachas. That's how he's high of 39 Karbanas. Have a wonderful day.